Do you want a rock solid core? You don't want to be doing endless crunches. This isn't what's going to get you a strong solid core. Crunches are useless, guys. In this video today, I'm going to show you exactly how you can build those abdominals, the lower back, the internal external obliques, your whole posterior chain, that whole core region, guys. Once you have a strong solid core, you'll be able to hold the human flag, those planches, those levers, all those crazy cool calisthenics movements you've dreamed of doing. You're better off doing compound calisthenic movements, such as the dragon flag, you've got the ring rollouts, you've got all these cool exercises that I'm about to show you, and this is gonna help build a strong solid core. All right, guys, first things first, we're gonna work towards building up the core strength to do the dragon flag. This is a great first progressive exercise. So all you're gonna do is find yourself a bar, just raise up in this tucked position. Once they become comfortable, you can then start to extend one leg out and just do the negative part of the movement. We're always stronger than a negative part of the movement, guys. So again, when we're doing this dragon flag, just try and go as far down as possible whilst keeping that parallel line. As you get stronger, you'll eventually be able to drag and flag raises. Again, note guys, I'm not trying to hyperextend my lower back. I don't wanna be feeling it too much in my lower back. You should feel it mainly in your abs. So again, just go as far down as you can. Make sure you feel no pain in the lower back. Just feel it all in those abs. So again, work through those progressions. Aim for around three to four sets, five to 12 reps, anywhere between or in that rep range. Next up, we have ring rollouts. Now this is another great exercise, compound bodyweight exercise that's gonna help strengthen that whole core area. Brace that core, make sure your arms are slightly bent. You don't wanna keep them locked out because then again, you might hurt your shoulders. But the main thing is you keep a constant parallel line throughout the move. Again, try and have that posterior pelvic tilt. So again, squeeze your butt, tense your abs as you lower down. If that's too hard, you can go onto the knees and do them on the knees. That's totally fine. Drop the ego, guys. Honestly, the main thing you wanna feel it in is that core area. So again, those abs, the obliques, you wanna really feel all of that whole trunk area firing. Elevated side plank raises are another great exercise that's gonna hit the obliques. Again, this is great for strengthening your human flag. Once you wanna turn that human flag out, you really need strong obliques. So again, if you practice these, it's gonna help transition into building up that human flag. Obviously, there's a lot more to the human flag. I've made a very detailed tutorial on it a couple of years back, so do check that out if you wanna learn the human flag. But essentially, this movement is gonna help strengthen your obliques, and this area is often neglected because we're always concerned about just these abs, guys. So again, make sure you're training your obliques. This is a great exercise, the elevated side plank raise. If that's still too hard, don't worry. You can do the same thing, side plank raises just on the floor. Last but not least, guys, you have the prone hyperextension. So this is a great exercise. It's gonna help strengthen your levers, any straddle position. So if you wanna work towards that straddle front lever, the straddle back lever, or any straddle movement, guys, this is gonna help strengthen it. It's gonna target those glutes, the lower back as well, which is also part of your core, guys. Remember, guys, your core isn't just your abs. It's all the muscles in that posterior chain. So again, we need to strengthen it if we wanna hold these levers like the front lever and the back lever. So again, these are great exercises. Go for around four sets, six to eight reps. It's a tough exercise. Again, aim for like a small hold at the top when you contract and then lower down. Just get the reps in, guys. Build them up over time and eventually you'll be hitting plenty of reps in no time. So guys, that was the video. Hope you enjoyed it. So that's how you build a rock solid core. Now you know not to waste your time on countless amounts of crunches. You don't need that in your life. Do these exercises, incorporate them into your own routines and watch your core, the strength in your core transform. Remember guys, I've dropped a 14 week abnormal body weight program. So if you want a full detailed program on your calisthenics training, you know, with the correct calisthenics progressions, the right intensity, the sets and reps, all that beautiful information all packed in one program. Check it out, the link is in the description below. For now guys, take care, subscribe, share this video and I'll catch you in the next one. It's been your boy Tayo and I'm out, peace.